Hello everybody, it's me, Mike, the Mystic Beard. Thank you very much for checking out this video. So this series is going to be for people who are new to RBGs or are looking to improve their skills. Throughout this series, we're going to be going over a common lexicon, add-ons, map, and gameplay analysis. In the description underneath the video, you guys will see links to the different add-ons as well as other useful resources. And now without any further ado, we're gonna jump in and talk about the lexicon of RBGs. Assault. 60 second window it takes to fully capture a base and start getting points. Capping. Capturing or assaulting a base. Countercapping. Interrupting the enemy from capturing a base. Spinning. Forcing the enemy to continuously try to cap, stalling them to buy time for your allies to reinforce your position. Stopping. Assaulting a base while in combat. Long cap. When a base is being assaulted but not yet captured and is still vulnerable to a retake. Retake. Capturing a base that is currently being assaulted or recapturing a base you've already lost. Ghosting. Leaving a base undefended. Corpse running, corpsing. After you die, running back to your body to res more quickly than waiting for a res timer. Taking insignia. Looting an enemy player's dead body to stop them from corpse running. CC. Crowd control. An ability to partially or completely disable enemy players. DR. Diminishing returns. Gradual loss of effectiveness of a spell or ability on continued use. There are four stages of diminishing returns. It takes 15 seconds for the DR to reset to full. Berserking. Buff that increases all damage done by 30% and damage taken by 10%. Reset buff. Buff that resets all your cooldowns, trinkets, etc. Restoration relief. Buff that restores your health and mana over 10 seconds. FC. Flag carrier. A person, normally tank, that is running the flag back to your base. DC, target caller, teammate who will be telling you who to kill, this will usually be the same person for the whole game. EFC, enemy flag carrier, enemy player, normally tank, running your flag back to their base. CR, current rating, what rank you are. MMR, matchmaking value, your team's CR and what rating you should be fighting at. And these are just a few common acronyms that you'll see thrown around. Now that we all speak the same language, we're gonna go over the add-on side of things with the four most essential RBG add-ons. First on our list is going to be capping, which you can bring up with forward slash capping. Unfortunately, there's no test feature on this, so we'll have to jump into a game so I can explain it. I can see what bases are being assaulted right now. I can see farm has just been assaulted. It's going to cap over and start giving us points in 45 seconds. I can see what our win time is, who's gonna win with the current setup. This will just live when things are defended or capped cap fully. So now I can see, okay, they got that back. That's going to be the final point value in six minutes and 30 seconds. If you use control click on the victory point window, you can report to your team in chat how long it's going to be until your team wins. So again, that's capping. This will work on all your maps that have these kind of base defense maps. Next, we'll jump into a silver shard mine so I can show you guys that next one. So weak auras are how I have my whole UI set up. And the one that we're gonna really be looking at is this one. It's RBG SSM Cart Checker. I'll put a link to this in the description. So what it does, it's just a timer. It's an add-on timer that lets you see when the carts are going to get capped. Uh, we'll jump into an SSC game and I will show you what that does and how it counts down. Now that the map has started, you'll see that this timer has popped up on the left-hand side of my screen. You'll see that it's counting down. What it is doing is counting down the time it will take for each of our carts from go to middle to their respective endpoints. Now, one of the other things it does is color codes who has control of it. If it's white, it means it's neutral, so it's still up for the taking. Blue means it's the Alliance. Red means it's the Horde. On this counter, you'll see lava, top, and mid. On a later video, when we go into the map analysis of Silver Shard, we'll go into the timings on how long it takes to get around to each point on the map. Third on our list is going to be Reporter. Again, no test feature on this one, so we'll have to jump into a game so you guys can see what it can do. So I'm defending here a farm on Rathi Basin, and I have two people coming in. I'm defending this with another rogue. But as you can see, we are being overrun. Right now we have three people coming in, a fourth person, fifth person, and there's only two of us. So I'm able to click on the numbers that are under reporter 
And when I click those numbers in chat, you'll see in the chat panel that I am just able to spam incoming for Stables Alliance. So I'm able to give the rest of my team information, how many are coming in and at what position. So now that there's a fifth person, I can keep spamming that number without really losing focus on the flag, without losing focus on counter capping, keeping my ability to do damage and all the things that we talked about earlier in the lexicon section. So it's super easy and I can spam that thing endlessly. I can let my team know wh how many. Uh, again, at the bottom you'll see numbers between, it'll be one, five, and then there's a Z. That Z means there's five plus, and it will say, I think it says six or five plus, I can't remember which. And if I'm not getting the help I need, I can start spamming the H button. The H button in chat will spam help. Help stables, help stables. This is where I need, I need people here, I need people here now. And then once we defend stables, there is a C button that lets everyone know, hey, we're clear now. We are totally clear, which I will be using shortly. So this is one of those things where it's, if you start to feel overwhelmed and you're like, oh my God, there's so many people here, I can't do anything. Using Reporter will allow you to call for reinforcements while you're still being able to defend. There's also another use to Reporter. You can right click if you see enemies going to another node that you're unable to defend. And on the reporter map, you can right click and say, hey, this is incoming. Or you can also say, hey, I'm going to this place. I'm going to try to assault this. In this next clip, you'll see me using the functionality of battleground enemies in association with reporter to be able to make informed decisions about putting pressure on the enemy. So here you can see me using the on my way function that I am going there to attack. Uh, but also not ghosting stables. I still have that rogue there that I can leave back. I'd click through the enemies to say, to try to make an informed decision that, okay, there doesn't seem to be much at Lumber Mill. Maybe I can make it a, an attack there. You can also see on the minimap on Reporter that I have a Death Knight going up there with me because I was able to say, hey, I'm going there. So in chat, he was able to go with me and we were able to get that double assault. And now that we did that, we saw, we came up there, we got two people out of stealth, or one person out of stealth, one of them was a mage. We get a warrior that comes up and we're able to bring some aggression away from other places on the map. And this is again, by being able to communicate to my team saying, this is where I'm going. And by using battleground enemies, which we'll talk about in the next video. Now, even though this assault wasn't successful, by having two people coming up here, we were able to bring, I think it was either four, maybe five members of the enemy away from farm to defend Lumber Mill. So by putting on that pressure and having the numbers advantage against us, we we're able to more securely take another, a third base for us. And again, that's just by utilizing these add-ons to gain information, to communicate clearly with my team, and to take this action. Thank you guys so much for checking out part one. Part two will go over the last add-on and the most essential add-on for RBGs, Battleground Enemies. And while you guys are waiting for that video, pop over to my Twitch stream where I play a lot with viewers to help them learn and understand RBGs. Until next time, I'm going to love you and leave you. See you then.